Yo, what's good? It's us for Power Man. Today I got another build video for y'all. So basically, today I got y'all this self healing AR DPS build, man. And the purpose of this build is to put out great healing while doing great DPS. So on this build, I'm using the technician. The main reason I'm using the technician is because of the 10% skill healing. Don't forget to put skill healing on. You got skill damage or you can put on skill healing. Put the skill healing. We got a lot of repair skills. We're trying to max out the skill healing. And we got plus one skill tier. That gives us more healing for our kill launcher. On this build we will be healing with the kill launcher. Because it's the most effective of getting one source of healing as quickly as possible. But further ado, let's get into the build. We running the FAMOS, it's hitting at 95.9k, we got 15 assault rifle damage, 13 health damage, 10% damage to target out of cover, and we got strength, gain 10% critical hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing, stacks up to 5 times. And strength is one of the best talents you can use for an AR crit build. I'm using the FAMOS currently, you don't have to use the FAMOS, that's just what I like using. You can use any AR you feel free to. Um, I like the Police M4 as well, but the FAMOS is my main as of right now. Alright, let's get into my second gun. I'm using the Eagle Bear, it's hitting at 115. I got 15 assault rifle damage, 20.5. 5 health damage and 10 headshot damage uh, with this you don't have to use the eagle bear either but I suggest another hard hitting AR with a good amount of health damage alright for the mass I'm using the out summit mass the one piece gives you 15% uh, repair skills we got 15 weapon damage 6 critical hit chance 20 repair skills and another 20 repair skills so all together just this mask has 55% repair skills just on the mask and that adds a lot of repair skills to our kill launcher as well with this build one kill launcher can fully heal your armor and that's that's just what you need for that extra survivability on the chest piece we got a Fenris Group A B chest piece gives you 10% assault rifle damage. We got 14.9 weapon damage, 12 critical hit damage, 6 critical hit chance, and a 12 critical hit damage mod. And we got glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%. All damage you take is amplified by 50%. And you could go with perfect glass cannon, but I just went with regular glass cannon right here because I'm trying to take as less damage as possible while still doing high DPS so that 25% amplified damage is enough for this build and at the same time we'll have great healing as well so I'm using a one piece grupo it gives you 15% critical hit damage we got 15 weapon damage 20 repair skills and 6 critical hit chance on the knee pads, we got 3 piece providence for the 10 headshot, the 10 critical hit chance, and the 15 critical hit damage. We got 15 weapon damage, 12 critical hit damage, and 20 repair skills. On the gloves, this is our second piece of providence. We got 15 weapon damage, 20 re 20, 12 critical hit damage, and 20 repair skills. On our backpack, we got another piece of providence. We got 15 weapon damage, 5.7 critical hit chance, 10.2 critical hit damage, and a 12 critical hit damage mod. And we got vigilance. Increases total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disables this buff for 4 seconds. So real quick, I just want to go over how much repair skills we have on this build. So we got 1 repair skills on the gloves. That's 20. Knee pads, that's 40. Holster, that's 60. And then we got the mass, that's 80, 100, 115 percent repair skills currently on this build. So let's check out the chem launcher real quick. We got plus plus seven heal, plus one ammo. And let's go over here and look at the stats of the chem launcher. We got ammo four, so that's really five because we got the plus one ammo. We got a 27.3 second cooldown. That's good to have 5 ammo with it. We also got repair over time, 106k. And we got armor repair, 594k, which is a little bit more than that. So real quick, let's go check it out in the shooting range so I can show y'all how much this build actually heals for. 
So we're gonna damage self. Well, and I'm gonna drop a kill. Gives you full amount of armor back. We'll do it one more time. Drop one Kim. That's one Kim right there. Full amount of armor back. So this is the peak right here for this build. We get full amount of armor back with 115% skill repair. Now that only works for this build. I I, I, I would assume it matters on how much armor you have. But real quick, let's just go over the stats. We got 95k weapon damage, 52k PvP weapon damage, 53.7 critical hit chance, 145.2 critical hit damage, 85 headshot. And real quick, I'm gonna switch it over to the EB. We got 53.7 critical hit chance and 160.2 critical hit damage, 95 headshot. We got 99.9 .9 all weapon damage bonus we have 40% assault rifle damage bonus and that's the whole build man this build puts out really great healing so when you're out there laying down DPS you'll have hills to back you up man so don't forget to like comment subscribe man and I'm basically gonna get into some gameplay deuces Espinoza came from the parking garage close to the shade node. Isaac has the location.
Medical science critical. you could have done for Espinoza. That fucking hyena was toying with us. I hope she suffered a bit before you finished her off. Anyway, thanks to you, we're an important step closer to getting the Shade Network back to full strength. You did good. I'll see you around.